You know what? We, Roger Mayweather is one of those guys that if he comes into a fight not in his best shape, you can get him in the later rounds. Here's an interesting thing about Rivera, though. We talk about the fact that Mayweather hasn't fought since last May. Rivera hasn't had any more than three fights in any year since 1983. And he's only had, in fact, 10 fights since 1983. So they hasn't been very active either. No, and Mayweather was active prior to that. He's been, he's fought a lot of people and fought the best, and there he is. Two-time world champion, as you see, Black Mamba, his mm. nickname. And let's talk about the diehard keys to victory. For Roger Mayweather, one key is always to land that right hand. And I think he should start fast. He's got to get him out early, or at least establish with Rivera that he is uh, a class above him. For Rivera, work the body and take those fight, this fight into the later rounds. He's got to get Mayweather past the 56th round. That's how Freddie Pendleton got Mayweather a couple years ago. So we're going 10 rounds in the super lightweight division. And here's Michael Buffer for the introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Top Rank Incorporated and the King of Beers, Budweiser, present the featured bout of the evening. So from Bally's Casino Resort right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, let's get ready to rumble. Ten rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. The referee for this bout is Richard Steele. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the blue trunks with white trim, and he weighs an even 140 pounds from San Juan, Puerto Rico, as a professional. 16 victories, 12 by KO, only three defeats and three draws. He's ranked number nine in the world by the World Boxing Organization. Let's hear it for Joe Rivera. He's wearing the black trunks with gold letters and also weighs an even 140 pounds. He fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada. His professional record, 34 victories, 23 by KO against only six defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, ranked number two in the world, former two-time world champion Roger, the Black Mamba Mayweather. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning you again. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Shake hands. Good luck. I knew that there was a fighter in my hotel room before I got there because the towels had holes in them. <laughs> Why do they do that? It's got to be something else you can throw. Very fashionable in the 90s here. I don't know. Roger Mayweather and Joe Rivera. Real test here, for, actually, for both men. I'm sure Mayweather really wants to find something out about himself tonight. Well, it is a fairly long layoff since the Chavez fight. And uh, we've pointed out that he's going in against a man who has fought twice for the lightweight title and lost a split decision in 12 to Brian Mitchell in 88 after he had drew over 15 rounds with Mitchell. So even though this weight division, the junior welterweight, is not one where he's challenged for a title, we know that Rivera has been in with, a champ with champions. Mayweather can strike so quickly, hence his nickname, the Black Mamba. Um, there is the uh, knockout ratio, and um, even though they're close in that knockout ratio, I think you'd have to feel like Mayweather is more of a knockout puncher. Mayweather, very patient fighter. That Chavez fight, of course, uh, turned into a nightmare for Mayweather. He was doing what he wanted to do, good up with the boxing well against Chavez. In truth, I mean, fighters use it as an excuse, but I got to tell you, hey, the deck was stacked against him that night. He didn't get any help from the referee. The crowd was against him. Um, and uh, yeah, when I saw the scoring of that fight later, I'll tell you. He said he cramped up, and that was yes. really the reason. He said he cramped up in the sixth round, actually, and the fight went on to the 11th. Matter of fact, he said he didn't hear that he was warned a couple of times for holding. He said he didn't hear the referee warn him for holding, and so he didn't know that he had lost points. He said he didn't eat for two days before the fight, even though he had made weight already. In fact, he was under the weight. He came in at 138. Except for that, everything was perfect. And Jesse Reed, who was in his corner that night, was thrown out of the fight for pushing Julio Cesar Chavez. Yeah. So he didn't get any help in his corner either. <laughs> oh, That's no. a tough night. Not a night you want to remember. No. <laughs> and facing one of the best pound for pound boxers on earth. So. We'll see. He, he's starting off in this bout, very workmanlike fashion, doing the things that Roger Mayweather is supposed to do, landing his jabs, throwing good uppercuts, 
Hasn't gotten the straight right hand in as well yet as he would like, but of course, just one of his straight right hands is enough to do you in. And the other thing about the Chavez fight and about the loss for Roger Naver, there's the most important thing is he's got to forget it. Yeah, it's, and he's been good at doing that. I mean, look at this guy that got knocked out by Rocky Lockridge in one round. I mean, just nailed. Then was back winning, uh, you know, uh, fighting Chavez for the title a year later and ultimately then winning a title when he beat Rene Arandondo a couple years later for Junior Welterweight. He has tremendous uh, mental toughness, Roger Mayweather, so he can come back from those kind of disappointments. Mayweather not doing a lot in his first round, but what he is doing, he's doing very effectively and probably did enough to win the round. We'll be back. Do that all night. Breathe, breathe, all night. The way you're doing is perfect. When he's lounging, step a little bit on the side and pick him up with your right arm. Don't give him no shot. Just jab, 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 shake him back and come up with the right hand, left foot. Miguel Diaz breathe in deep. the corner of Roger Please Mayweather. Stay you stay there. You don't go nowhere. Right. Good round. Diaz trained Mayweather for this fight because Jesse Reed was working with Frank Tate. Yeah, he was down there with Seth Tate for the Lindell Holmes fight, and that didn't work out too well for Jesse Reed. Nice to have uh, Miguel Diaz as the guy to come in when your trainer's there, because, not there. Miguel himself, a very fine trainer, has worked with many, many fighters in this Las Vegas area. And yeah, one of the good guys in the sport. Very too, nice, yes. Very nice man, dedicated to his craft, works hard. He's got a nice beat, uh, easy to dance to. I give him an 85. How about that? Okay, Mayweather tripling the number of punches landed by Joe Rivera. And uh, his percentage wasn't uh, sparkling, but nevertheless, he landed more shots. A bunch of profile guys didn't even have to take off their shoes to count uh, Rivera's no, punches. No, which is, you know, when they get past 10, it gets a little bit dicey for them. That's right, they have to remember the first 10. <laughs> Move on. And you know what? I think they should move into computers using that abacus the way they do. Just <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a tough. Acquired makes, skill makes it hard for. The jab working very well for Roger Mayweather. And that's exactly what Miguel Diaz told him to do. Work the jab, don't try to do much else. There's Rivera, who's got a pretty good right hand. Not a one-punch knockout artist, but he's got a good right. He um, he will need to get inside at some point in this bout, be able to push Mayweather around a little bit, rock him to the body. That's what you have to do with Roger. If you don't, you're going to have a tremendous problem dealing with him. Short right hand, it looks like a weapon for Roger Mayweather, too, and it looks like Rivera could be there for it. Mayweather just missed with it a moment ago. <laughs> Tell you, Roger Mayweather has fought a who's who. Oh, good straight right hand by Mayweather. As advertised. Yeah, and uh, that's the kind of right that has been known to put people away. And there it is again. But now, let me tell you, let me start cautioning people about something. Against Freddie Pendleton, Roger Mayweather was landing these right hands. Freddie Pendleton didn't go anywhere, but the sixth round, Freddie Pendleton was able to come back. Joe Rivera is a spoiler type, just like Freddie Pendleton was. Freddie fighting this week weekend on the undercard of Pazienza uh, uh, Camacho for uh, uh, the uh, lightweight title against Pernell Whitaker. So, there you see. If Rivera can weather the storm and not go down from those rights, remember when the sixth or seventh round rolls around, he might have a, a better shot. One of your keys to victory, the fact that Rivera, if he could take Mayweather into the later rounds, obviously would have more chance. Back into the corner of Joe Rivera, and he did take some big shots, but didn't take a backward step. We take a look at the Roger Mayweather right hand. Ooh, that was a nice one. Good straight right hand by Mayweather. And this is the second one. Not well, that one was just about as good. Oh, that was the same right hand from a different angle. That was just about as good. It's almost the same to me. But Joe Rivera is still here. That's the main thing. And he really didn't appear to be hurt by any of those right hands. Third round, Roger Mayweather looking very sharp for the first two rounds. There's a 
Figueroa trying to use the jab a little bit to work his way in. A good idea. Roger with his left hook. And you know, like Tommy Hearns, who is stopped, boxes in a similar style, Mayweather has a better left hook than people give him credit for. Take a look at your card through the first two rounds, shut out so far. Oh yeah, Mayweather winning those first two rounds and winning them handily. But I think it is really significant that those really good straight right hands that are designed to be finishers are not finishing Joe Rivera or even getting him in big trouble. Now, you know, Roger may continue to do this over 10 rounds and just shut him out, but he's not looking like he's knocking him out right now. I know that because Rivera's still standing. <laughs> Good. I can't be fooled on these issues. Again, the right lane. You now, what Rivera isn't doing very is doubling with the jab. If he would double with the jab, would keep Roger busy enough so then he could take that step in and maybe get in to whack the body in the head. I, I don't think Rivera's thrown more than three body shots in his first several rounds. It also, and this is just an impression, but he is following Mayweather. Yeah, not cutting the ring off. And it's not that Roger's giving him that much movement. Just enough. You know, we watched Terrell Brazier last week, the man that had that epic battle with Mayweather, and he's another guy. There's the right by Rivera. And he's another guy that people have written off a couple of times, and he showed he's got plenty of left. Roger Mayweather trying to do the same tonight. Mayweather got there with the right hand again, but once again, he did not force Rivera backward. You can feel Rivera in this round starting to pick up the pace a little bit, get a little closer. See, his distance is getting just a little bit closer. Landed that overhand right a little bit earlier. There were some ringside observers here we spoke with before the fight who really did give Rivera a very legitimate chance. Many of them felt Rivera could win this fight. Thought it would be an upset. The right hand again there by Mayweather, but once again, it does not appear to hurt Rivera. They're good, clean shots, but Rivera just keeps coming. And there, that one did stop it. Beautiful short right hand by Roger Mayweather. So another good round for Roger Mayweather, who is building up a pretty good lead in points through the first three rounds. That short chopping right hand counterpunch from Roger Mayweather that stopped Rivera in his tracks. Maybe the first right hand that looked like it had a, a perceptible um, impact or uh, effect on Rivera. Rivera definitely pacing himself through the first couple of rounds. Yeah, he is averaging only 44 punches per round. Mayweather is averaging 60. So um, Rivera will need to pick up the pace if he is to get back into this bout. Even though it looks like Mayweather is pacing himself a little bit, too. There hasn't been a lot of frenetic action in this fight. Now, both men measured in what they're doing. Again, the chopping right there by Mayweather. Uh, who, by the way, speaking of Pazienza, beat Pazienza. In fact, he beat Pazienza and Lou Duva all in the same night. That's right. Duva came at him after the bell. Took a couple of rights from Roger Mayweather. Here's the overall total in the bout from our punch profile. He has fought a who's who at the, the lightweight and junior welterweight and junior lightweight division. I mean, Arturo Leon, Ruben Munoz, Sammy Serrano, Rocky Lockers, Tony Baltazar, Kenny Bazemore, Julio Cesar Chavez, Freddie Pendleton, Sammy Fuentes, Pernod Wivico, on and on and on. Gato Gonzalez. I mean, Roger Mayweather has been in with just about everybody. Again, Mayweather just waiting on that right hand for Rivera. And Rivera continues to be there for us. Body shot by Rivera. They're giving Rivera enough movement here. Oh, there. Good right hand. That hurt Mayweather. Now let's see if Rivera jumps on him. Definitely hurt Roger Mayweather. 
This fight is starting to look a little like the Freddie Pendleton fight, which Pendleton was able to get to Mayweather when Mayweather slowed perceptibly. I think Mayweather is still not 100%. I think his mouthpiece went flying with that right hand. I don't know. See, Rivera's in a good position now to throw that right, although he took a right from Mayweather. Rivera has to be careful about getting careless now. A little swelling of the left eye, Rivera. Well, that right comes so quickly by Mayweather. Rivera slipping that one, but... It's tough to get away from Mayweather's right. So Rivera did get a big punch in, but the question is, was it enough? And I don't believe it was. I don't think you believe it was either. No, I wouldn't uh, give him the round. Okay? Yeah, you don't need to come back anymore. You just yeah. relax and keep popping the fucking job, and this fight is yours. All you have to do is keep popping it down. You went in every round. Just relax. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Big one. Big one. Big one. Here's the right hand to Joe Rivera's best moment in this bout. Nice one. Although Mayweather pulled away to take some of the impact away. And maybe we'll get a chance to see it. Yeah. See? What a smart veteran. Turning his head away to, to absorb some of the impact. One of the, the best at that was Larry Holmes. Uh, and in fact, he fought a guy who was also good at that, Kenny Norton. And when they fought each other, they were both whistling right hands. and. It was real hard to tell who was landing well because both men good at absorbing and turning away from the impact. It's a real art. It really is. Not easy. You start the fifth round, and you have the idea that this fight, the outcome of this fight, is not necessarily etched in stone at this point. Now, even though Mayweather's doing what he's supposed to do, we're heading into that portion of the fight, and that right hand was kind of an indication of it, where you expect weird things to happen to Roger Mayweather. It's almost like you anticipate. That was a good left hand and wow. another good left hand. That staggered Rivera. But you know, I got to tell you, Roger Mayweather, who's a very good puncher, is landing some major league shots. And Rivera is not going down. No, still not. Not stepping back at all. And he got a right hand of his own in. Hey, you, you know, you can look at Roger Mayweather. You have You've got to like the way he puts those combinations together. He's an exciting fighter, and I, I keep thinking of Tommy Hearns when I see him because they're, they're so similar. That's what makes Tommy Hearns such fun to watch. That's the right hand again. Wow. Rivera's been there for the right hand the whole fight, and again. Mayweather looks at Richard Steele. Yeah, I'm not sure if Steele said something to him or not. Or maybe, I don't know, he might have thought Richard Steele should step in. Maybe Rivera is hurt he, so bad. I think he is hurt. Pull it back, okay? Pull it back. Now, I, don't know, I don't know why Richard Steele stepped in there to this pull is, it back. I'm not sure what that means. There goes the mouthpiece. Rivera's in some trouble here. Yeah, he is. There's nothing wrong with If Roger Mayweather wants to do the fake bolo punch, it's okay. To, oh, there goes Rivera down. And a cut over the left eye. Oh, this man. fight isn't going to go yeah. very much further, if at all. Seven. It should be stopped now. It's over. It is. Yeah, that's well-stopped fight there. You know what's fascinating? That man, Roger Mayweather, saw it before anybody did. He turned to Richard Steele because he saw it in Rivera's eyes, and it was too premature for even Richard Steele, who's, a, as we said, is the fine official, to really see it. We certainly did. But Roger knew that there was a vacant look in Rivera's eyes. Really. In that case, not a show of bravado, a show of sportsmanship yes, by, by Mayweather. Absolutely. Even though he followed it up with a show of bravado with the, uh, the fake bolo punch. I'd be interested to know what Roger Mayweather said to Richard Steele. There's the right hand. And he's just looking at Richard Steele saying, aren't you going to step in here? Looking again. And you can see now what Roger Mayweather saw. And then he will fake the, after this, he faked that bolo punch, and uh, Richard Steele stepped in and actually stopped him from doing it. Oh, those are good right hands by Mayweather. And Joe Revere, a very tough guy, but uh, when you're taking shots like this from a, a, a strong puncher. Yeah, you're right. It absolutely was an excellent show of sportsmanship by Roger Mayweather, and here's how it ended. 
Mayweather never loses control of his game plan. That's the beauty of him. Now that, you could call that a slip, but you shouldn't because it was a delayed reaction from, from the punches and the bad cut, which would likely have stopped this fight anyway. Let's make it official with Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Steele reaches the count of 10 at 1 minute 51 seconds of the fifth round. The winner by knockout victory, former two-time world champion Roger, the Black Mamma Mayweather. So an impressive comeback performance for Roger Mayweather against the game, Joe Rivera. Well, Roger Mayweather made a coaching point. Uh, there had never been a knockdown before, a knockout of Joe Rivera, but Roger said he's never been hit by the Black Mamba, and that was true. You nailed him with some amazing shots in the it, throughout this fight. It looked like he wasn't going to go out, and he didn't go out too easy until finally one of those right hands uh, got him. Yeah, well, I, I could see that he was hurt, uh, probably a little better than the referee, but the referee got to do his job. And so when I seen him, when I seen him getting hit flush, I knew it was a matter of time. I mean, setting him with a good jab and calling the top with the right hand. So. Let's well, take a look. Yeah, let's take a look, Roger, where you, you felt like he was hurt. You're, what did you say to Richard Steele there? Well, I'll wait for Richard Steele to see if he's going to step in and stop the fight, or do you just want me to keep on beating the guy? We're not in there to kill one now. This is a competitive yeah. sport. So, you know, once you see a guy hurt, uh, you, what you try to do, you know, you're a human yeah. being first and the fighter second. So that's what I was in, in that case. So when I hit him in the right hand, it was a matter of this time. We going. pointed out that it was a, a good show of sportsmanship on your part, and you're right. You're not in there to kill the guy. You're in there just to win the fight. I think though that it was tough to tell whether you saw it in his eyes it was tough to tell that Rivera was hurt because he was coming forward to you so right. it was kind of difficult to say anyway your right hands got to him you've got to feel very pleased coming off the Chavez fight that you could put together such a perfect technical performance uh, yeah after coming off the fight with Chavez I've been laid off eight and a half months to come back and take a fight with Joy Vera a world rated fighter so yes. it was good for me but uh, the main reason I wanted to do this and my mother wasn't here tonight but she'll be here on Sunday, and I wanted to give her a good show before she comes. So all the people back in Michigan who supported me uh, get, a, get a chance to see Roger Mayweather back right. in action. Real quickly, what's next for you? Uh, well, I want to fight the winner of Hector Camacho and Vinny Pazianzo, if not that, uh, Mary Taylor and Chavez again. All right, both of those are good ideas. Congratulations. Thank you very much.